Yeah. So very good morning boys and girls and welcome back to another video and welcome to my local woodland. I've not been here for months and well I kind of thought we'd head down. Spring's just around the corner. Let's just see what's changed. I thought we'd bring the macro lens with us and just see what we can take. So I've stopped by this little pond area. It's a little bit flooded in these woods at the minute. I thought with the grass sticking out of the pond make for a great little macro photo. So let's just see what we can do. See if we can find maybe three blades of grass coming out of this jet black water and take a photo of them. All right, so I think I've managed to get something set up here. My camera is way closer to the water than I really want this to be. So I just want to do this as quickly as possible. I found a little group of grass blades out of the water so we've got the camera as low as i dare get it so we're shooting across the plane of the grass across the water f4 a two hundredth of a second iso 400 i've focused on the grass blades let's go ahead and take this first photograph and now i'm going to remove the camera away from the water because i don't like that here's the first image <laughs> I'm using in today's video is Olympus's own macro lens. It's the 60mm f2.8 and it allows you to do one-to-one -one macro photography and it also has a little cheat sheet button on the side of it which puts the lens at one-to-one. -one. You have to move the camera backwards and forwards and obviously you don't want to use the autofocus while you're doing this but it does put it at one-to-one -one macro and I think we're going to use it to take this next photograph. Around here there are a lot of bushes with some little yellow flowers growing through. And I thought we'll try doing it on that. It's just going to be a bit of a pain in the backside getting the tripod close. Let's see what we can do. Green bushes, little yellow flowers, one-to-one -one macro photography. Let's go. All right, I said this next photo was going to be little yellow flowers, but what I've actually found is a little gathering of ladybirds. They're all grouped together in a little ball. There's maybe half a dozen of them, and it's not something I've ever seen before, is a little gathering of ladybirds. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can take a photograph of them just nestled in this little thorn bush. So just down here in the leaf layer, there is just this little lady bear just crawling over this little patch of grass. I have the autofocus tracking on. So as the lady bear's moving around, I'm just holding the focus button and it's just tracking and following the lady bear. I'm at F5, around 160th of a second. I saw 400, just to give me that shutter speed and we're just bombarding this little ladybug. Where's he gone? Just bombarding him with photographs as he's doing these little ladybird thing so as soon as I get one that's in focus and looks all right because obviously I can't control where he's going I will show it to you come yeah, on look at me oh there you go ah oh, you jumped didn't you All right, so for this next photograph, I have one of my ladybird friends on my hand. Now, there's a patch of moss just off to my right-hand side, and I'm going to find a twig, and I'm going to place the twig in the moss, and I'm going to place the ladybird on the twig, and hopefully we'll get a really nice photograph of a ladybird just crawling up this twig with the moss in the background, and don't worry, he's going to go free after his little photo shoot. Quite a cute little thing. I'm going to name him Barry. He looks like a Barry. So let's find a little twig. We'll put Barry on the twig, hopefully. 
end up with a nice photograph of him. Let's see what happens. All right, so I have my twig placed in the moss. I have Barry in my hand. I've just dropped him. No, no, I haven't. He's still... Oh, no, he's blown off in the wind. Barry, come back. Come back, Barry. Right, Barry's back. All right, so I've got my twig placed in the moss. I have Barry in my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place Barry onto the twig in the moss. And hopefully... He's climbing up, he's climbing up, he's climbing up, he's climbing up. Right, so now I have to take a photograph of Barry before he runs away. Oh no, he's running away. He's running away. Right, we're not going to have long to do this. So I'm going to manually... Ah, come on. Focus. Right, we're focused on the twig. Let's place Barry on the twig. Climb up it, Barry. Let's go. Hopefully that worked. I'll leave him to do his ladybird thing. <laughs> I'm very nervous right now, I'm not going to lie. There is this plant uh, with the snowdrops just growing off it. There's three of them sticking out of the water with a nice little reflection below them. But there's one of them that's just sort of drooped over and it's just making a little archway into the water. And I quite liked that, so I thought we'd stop by and take a photograph of it. The tripod legs here are properly spider-legged out. I'm nervous, but I'm fairly certain it's not going to go into the drink. So we're at F4, ISO 400 and a sixteen hundredth of a second. I've focused on the little white snowdrops. Here we go. Now I can remove the camera from the water that is horribly brown and smelly. I'll show you the photograph. <laughs> So thank you very much for watching today's video. Just a little random explore around the woods just to get some ideas for when springtime really does come around. But it's been fun to get out the macro lens again. It's been a long time since I've used it and this Olympus cm one Mark II, it never fails to let me down. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a like and a thumbs up. It does help the video and brings new viewers to see my content. And as always, if you're new here and you did enjoy the video, please do hit the subscribe button down below and you see more nonsense from me every single week. So until next time, I'm loving you and leaving you say peace and goodbye. I don't know if I was in focus.